that that can't happen because their place is too small, you know, or like their, their town is too small. Um, it is way easier to be a lighthouse in a smaller town than it is in a, in a bigger town. I mean, you know, I'll take 1% of a small town instead of 0.00001% of a large town, you know? Mm-hmm. So don't, don't think if there's anybody watching this, it's like, well, yeah, but yeah, but you guys have more, there's more fish in your pond. Yeah, but the pond is way bigger. Like it's okay. It's okay to still do those things in a small town. Now, one thing that I've heard small town people complain about, and I've experienced this is that, yeah, but that same family that never signs up comes to our events over and over and over again. And we get those too. Um, but so you just, you deal with that. That's just cost of doing business, yeah. you know, feed them a popsicle, give them a high five, invite them to the next time. Yep. And you know. it's like you said, once the needs here, then, then they join. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just put gutters on my house. They could have had a gutter sale a month ago and I wouldn't have done it. All of a sudden I needed gutters. So I picked up the phone and called gutter place. <laughs> exactly. And I, and I think, I think that's, um, I do see a lot, you know, so Facebook advertising has made people, I think, given people the idea that you can just put money out and automatically get students. And that's just not necessarily the case. Um, I think that it was novel in, you know, 2015, 2014. It was like, oh, this is, this is really neat and it's really working. That just took the cream off the top. That's over. You know, you, you um, and, and people that only did paid trials through Facebook advertising and they never had anything else. Um, it's, it it becomes obvious now that, that it's getting, that it, if that's over and that's not really working very well anymore and you don't have any of those other systems in place for having regular events and being able to follow up on those leads, then it kind of exposes you that you're not, that you weren't really marketing. You didn't have a Parthenon. You had one column and it was Facebook ads or it was, one column and it was that you had a great relationship with the school and now that principal has left you know so i didn't see your um uh, interview with tony hall but i heard it was really good yeah he was talking about birthday parties uh he said he did a he does a, like you know one one or two a, a a weekend um and the thing that i took away from that was that uh the thing that i liked the best about it was that his birthday parties were expensive they had a, he had a, a, a four, five, and six hundred dollar package. So, yeah, you know. the reason I mentioned that because he does a lot of marketing that I know he uh, sh- showed one on his uh, website, uh, the uh, EDDM mailer he does for birthday parties. Yeah, which I think it's really cool because he's not just trying to get his students to go to those birthday parties, so he's marketing outside. Yeah, he's going beyond Facebook, he does do Facebook ads for it, but he does do uh, every door direct mail. Yeah. Well, and, and it's, a, it's a good example also of him saying, I don't care if they're not a karate student. What, is that, what does that matter to me? And I don't care if they don't become a karate student later. So many times we're doing our marketing for the wrong reason or we're doing our events for the wrong reason. Our reason to do the events is to get new students. And that's just obvious, you know, like uh, I, I'm sure we all watch Shark Tank. My favorite Shark Tank character is Barbara Corcoran because she, uh, she says uh, she's really – I don't know why my phone's just going to ring anyway. Sorry, I tried to turn it off. I answered it and turned it off. That's, that's, uh, the, the, that's the new version of pulling it up and, you know. Because um, she says, I don't work with losers, right? And, I, and uh, don't bring me your desperation. That's, that's unattractive. So, like, when somebody comes in to your school and it's just obvious that you're desperate for new students, um, it really, you know, it doesn't serve you well. And, no, like, no – no middle class mom of three who has the money to come to your school is going to be attracted by that level of desperation. And I think what's so hard for us is we're like, yeah, but they're not attracted to anything else either. And it's like, well, they just, you have, like you said, you have to wait for the right time. There could have been a gutter sale a month ago and you, it would have went in one ear and out the other. Now you need gutters, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But in the next couple of weeks, we are going to get some leads. And yeah. you're the person for follow-up. I did an interview with Jason Morgan. He said a lot of people, what they do wrong with their bully proof, after they do their bully awareness seminar, they try to sell them on something else. Yep. It means that you sell them on a continuation of bully prevention, 
that's what they came for. So it's like if you went to a gym and you want to learn about fitness, and then they sell you a health drink after. It just, you know, I didn't go there for that. Yeah. So yeah. What, do you, what do you suggest for follow-up after the bully prevention? I think that you have to connect the two. If you are not able to have a program, because I, I agree with you, it's the same idea for like, hey, we're going to have a women's self-defense seminar. Now, would you like to sign up with this uh, gi and learn these pre, pre, uh, pre like katas and pre-done patterns? And they're like, no, I really like the self-defense workshop, but you don't have any self-defense. No, thank you. So like, if you don't have more bully stuff, right, you have to create connections on why your program, how your program actually defeats bullying, right? Or how your program actually helps them with that. And if you're not making that through the whole um, presentation and through the, like, through the entire thing, you should be connecting. So like an example would be, I'd say, you know, now, now we teach martial arts. And so in martial arts, here are some of the things that we do that your kid, whether they sign up with us, whether they're doing martial arts or not, is going to be able to utilize to uh, help them be, uh, uh, you know, bully proof. It's this and this and this. We do it like this. Here's how you can help at home, mom and dad. Then it's a lot easier for you to actually connect the dots and say, if you'd like to continue this, uh, you know, this bullying education through confidence building and self-esteem, you know, and, 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 and visual awareness, then let's do this, this six week trial. Like if you can't connect the dots, then yeah, it's going to be obvious that they're going to be being sold something else. And I would connect the dots with a rainmaker flow after the fact. First thing I would do is say, thank you so much for coming. And I would not do, thanks so much for coming. Here's a free week pass as a thank you. That's not a thank you. They see right through that. Uh, you know, as a thank you, um, where can I send your Starbucks gift card? Right. Thank you for coming. Any mom is going to be like, holy crap, that was nice. Right. Um, and I, I think sometimes we don't, we're not aware of how much money real companies will spend to get a lead. How much money will a realtor spend? I called about a house uh, that's in my neighborhood just because I was curious about it. And they must have sent me $20 in mailing so far in postage and content. And, and I'm like, I'm not even interested in the house at all. But I, I called the lady and she said, oh, you live in the neighborhood? I said, yeah, I was just curious about the house. You know, it's like across the street from me. She goes, oh, you're across. So what, what, what's your number? Well, I was, you know, 4625. She got my address and she'd been sending me stuff. And maybe, but like, is it worth her sending me 25 or $30 worth of stuff? Maybe I buy a house from her someday and she gets a $6,000 commission. So like, what is a student worth to you? Is it worth? a $10 Starbucks gift card or a $5 Starbucks gift card. Maybe like that would be a way that you could build that relationship. And, um, without saying thank you, here's a free, uh, you know, one week pass, but I would use the flow and I would build out a flow of five or 10 emails that said, here's a review of what we did. Remember moms and dads, here's how we do this bully proof in our martial arts classes. Here's how you can do it at home. Uh, you know, step two, remember the next thing we talked about was confidence building and the reason kids confidence fails. Here's how we do it in martial arts classes. Here's how we've seen successful parents do it at home. And I think if you like connect those dots, they're either going to get some good tips or they're going to be like, I can't do this at home because my kid's not listening to me. Let's sign them up. <laughs> you know, would you eventually get to something where they buy like a a beginner's martial arts workshop or would you just, I mean, cause we're trying to get them eventually we want to invite them in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I, any flow or anything that I have always has a little section that's like, you know, thanks for coming, you know, you know, motion to assist staff PS. If you have any questions or if you're interested, click here. Like if you have any questions, reply. If you're interested in, in our program, click here. So there's always an opportunity for them to buy. Um, but I would definitely, I usually, uh, I, I, I do the Frank Kern method, which is what he calls, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm about to cuss, I'm sorry. He calls it 75% cool shit, 25% pitch. So like every three, at least every three emails needs to be really actually good value. And then one of those four emails can be, would you like to sign up? Here's what you should sign up for. And if they, just because they said no to the free beginners martial arts workshop doesn't mean they're going to say no to Hey, semester starting back to school studying workshop or back to school, uh, you know, another bully proof workshop. Maybe they need to come to three bully proof workshops before they sign up. Um, I, I think that the best thing that you can do is connect the dots at the moment 
so that they're ready, you know, after, after the fact, they're ready to actually sign up. Um, would you do these flows as emails, videos, yeah. postcard? I, well, I, I don't think I would do a postcard, but I would definitely, I would do email and then I would, uh, you mean like a, like a video message? Yeah, got, I like a video message, you know, the difference between telling and tattling. You know, telling right. is part of self potential tattling, you're trying to get someone in trouble, make sure you tell a teacher. If you, if you do those, I would suggest doing them on your Facebook page so you can have a single link. And if you've never done that before, like if you ever make a video, so like just, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Like I do videos, I've sold products in the martial arts industry where the video is literally me in my chair. Hey guys, if you wanna buy this, blah, 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 blah. And then you post it. So do that, post it on your page, and then you can get the actual individual link. And then you put that link in the, uh, in the email. So if you didn't know, what's really important for that email is not that they read it, it's that they click, is that they click through, right? The easiest way to make them click through is to take a little screenshot of the video on your Facebook page, because it'll have the little play button and it'll look like they can play the video. So they'll click the video and it'll take them to, it's just more, and it's not like, it's not a trick so much as it's just in my mind, I know, okay, that's a video. If it's just a picture of my weird face, you know, that may not be it, but that, that little play button is really helpful. If you're on a Mac, it's like command shift four. If you're on a PC, I think it's print screen. You can literally just take the, the, the image, put, you know, shrink it down in your flow or in your campaign and then put it right there in, because you can't embed a video, but you can embed a picture and then link that picture to your video. Hey, moms and dads, I made a video, like you said, about the difference that we talked about in your in the thing, and then on the description of the Facebook thing, it can have a link to um, to your profit generator. Uh, you know, normal forty nine dollar kids martial arts special, ten dollars for the next twenty four hours, or whatever you want to make it. Use this special code. I like the codes best because just because you sent the email on Monday doesn't mean it's getting opened on Monday. It might get open on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you put a code in that Facebook post that says you know fifty percent off for the next twenty four hours. You set that up in your profit generator, and then if they click it on Wednesday and the code doesn't work, then they know that you're an honest person, right? Yeah. So I, I really like them getting locked out of it so that they see that the next time that they see an offer from you, they know that it's serious. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. But I, I like the video idea, but I like I like to send it to to like social media. Otherwise, you have to host it on like your YouTube page, and I would just put it right on your Facebook page, or Instagram, moms are gonna see, if it says, hey, check this video out on our Instagram page, click here, that moms are probably more likely to click a 60 second Instagram video than a Facebook video. My wife is almost never on Facebook anymore. She doesn't like, she's like, people are mad, and it's all politicky. She's like, my Instagram is just my happy place. Yeah, so I agree. <laughs> maybe, maybe Instagram should be uh, what people, move towards as opposed to Facebook, but whatever I would, I would put it on a social platform, then take the link from that and put it in your email. Okay. Um, we've got about five more minutes. Let me uh, start to think about what we're going to do for November already. So November being yes. Thanksgiving, a lot of times we do student appreciation day. Um, I was talking to a client down in Miami. She's got a, a great kids program or adult program is like a half dozen people, but she has a hundred kids. So that's hundred kids. That's 200 parents. So I was saying as a appreciation for November, she should do all parents can join for the month of November for a buck. So my, just so we can make sure it's not price. There's no excuses. So right. We yeah. About something like that. Well, and we do. So we did that for, um, we used the Raymaker Mic Drop uh, former member campaign and we, and we did a $1 for 30 days. And of course, obviously, you know, of the, 15 or 19 or whatever that we signed up five quit like immediately five never showed up um, and like three or four quit throughout the thing but we're gonna retain six or seven of those so the dollar membership definitely is a little annoying in that people are going to sign up and then cancel but that's okay like there's nothing wrong with that you be willing to provide that service in order to get those few what if one of those people stays all the way to black belt and becomes an assistant instructor and then buys a location from you someday right? Yeah. That's worth it. That's worth it. So I, I, I like that. And what I would also do is um, I actually really dislike it, but I know that some people love it. 
is offering one day a week family class so that if they're like, look, I am not dropping my kid off at four and coming back at seven. That isn't happening. But I'll show up at 6.30 on a Friday night. That sounds like fun. I want to hang out with my kid, you know? I like we that. Had, we, we had a dad um, that went all the way up to Brown Belt. And when his kid went off to college, he quit. And I was like, dude, you're literally three months away from your black belt. And he goes, I don't want a black belt. And I was like, what do you, what? I didn't, I didn't get it. And he goes, I was only here because I got to hang out with my kid two times a week. Huh. And I was like, mind blown. He had no interest in martial arts, no interest in black belt. He did the moves because he could stand next to his kid yeah. who as a high schooler didn't want to hang out with dad, you know? Yeah. So I thought that was, so that's, I, I, I like that idea, but I, I like the idea of having a one day a week family class. If you get any pushback about timing. Right. Yeah. Anything else you got for us for uh, November? Uh, no, I'm gonna. I am uh, tomorrow gonna going to show everybody how to set up their holiday sale uh, in Rainmaker or in your CRM to make sure that your memberships are right, to make sure that your packages are put together. You can do discounted packages. Show people how to do a discount on the fly. If, for example, you know you get a customer up to the front and they've been waiting in line for 15 minutes and they get up there and they thought the packages were 15% off and they're really 10% off and you're like, shoot, whatever, 50, you know, how to, how to change those things so that everyone is prepared come holiday sale, whenever that is, that they're not caught off guard. And I, the last thing that I want is people typing in, you know, black ninja sword and then putting the price in. You should, you should be able to just do it super, super fast. So that's tomorrow. So like Sal Convento is doing a uh, six month uh, karate class with a gi, um, with a, hundred, a, birth, a free birthday party and a parent signed out. He's got to set up a package so he's not typing in everything that's included. Right, exactly. And then my suggestion in that particular case would be to do the membership. And I can even show him how to do this tomorrow, do the membership. And then when he's ready to do the down payment, Rainmaker says, do you want to do a down payment? Yes or no. He says yes. And then he adds those other things in the point of sale for the down payment. That way it's one transaction, membership is already done, sign here, and you're good. Okay, so yeah. everyone who's serious about the holiday sale has to be on tomorrow. Yeah, yes, yes, otherwise, other, otherwise what I, like, I know how scary it is if you're like, look, I don't even know if I'm gonna be successful to holiday sale. You know what's not gonna be successful? Looking like a fool in front of people, oh, I didn't think I was gonna have anybody here, so. I'm not sure what to do. You know what I mean? That's going to look even worse. I'd rather you be prepared and disappointed than surprised and look ridiculous. Awesome. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. Thank you. All right, bye.